now you've play tested your course you may find there's some major changes you're going to need to do and one thing you might have found is that when you played the course in the game it was actually far too hilly or much flatter than you meant it to be uh, obviously it's going to take a load of time moving verts uh, to correct this but there's a very simple uh, thing we can do if we want to apply a change to the whole course so if we go to terrain and vertex and let's have a look that's my hilly course if we go to select all and choose the scale command and the constrained scale because we're on the z-axis here which is the up and down we can actually scale the up and down on this screen if we select one vert by moving it slightly left I'm scaling the hills down so it's getting flatter and flatter I can go all the way down I can even go negative so that it's the hills will become valleys and the valleys will become hills conversely if I go the other way I can make it much more extreme if I've made it too flat so just by a few gentle adjustments left and right here you can keep all the hills and valleys in the same place but make them slightly more or less extreme so this is a very simple way of changing your course and because you've only altered the z-axis as soon as you validate and save all the T's and pins you've planted will snap back down or up to where they belong so it will be ready for playtesting straight away so I'll deselect that and you'll see I've now got a much flatter uh, looking course with just very gentle hills than the extreme ones I had and I'll just undo that and you'll see that's how it was before so you can make major changes or, or just very minor changes to the height but it's a very quick way of altering the whole course and it will save you absolutely countless hours of of manually altering now you can select certain areas and do this uh, the problem with that though is if you're just dealing in one area because it's using the average heights of all the verts to alter it you'll get very uh, unpredictable results around the edges of where you, have you select so if I selected this area around the edges uh, they would tend to be out of whack with the surrounding terrain so I'd need to go around and adjust the rest of the terrain uh, to try and create a, a smoother effect but it, it can be used on smaller areas but it's best if you do everything uh, at once because then you'll keep the exact same terrain you had before just in a, a modified form so now another thing you might find once you've checked your course is that you really don't like a couple of the holes uh, and minor modifications aren't going to change your opinion you might decide you want to extend a hole from a par 4 to a par 5 or completely reroute a hole so how do you do this when you've got the whole paths marked well there's no way of telling the whole path to change par what we do have to do is completely delete it and replace it so let's pretend I've decided my par 3 here is not going to be a par 3 anymore I want to do a par 4 I'm going to get rid of this green I'm going to have a new green over the other side of the lake and uh, how do I go about that well I'll quickly create a shape for the green say over here so if I was going to have my green over there so I need to go to plan select and either select the path 
or the boundary of our hole. They both count together because they're linked. So I've now selected this and it's gone to hole 2 up here automatically because I've selected the hole 2 one. So I click delete and it's given me a warning because we're going to lose uh, the ability to play this hole. So I click yes. Now all we need to do is go to our define whole path again. I want to now make a path 4, so I tick it to 4. Go into the advanced settings again, make sure we're on the third one down again. Let's just move our screen to full screen so we can get it a bit bigger for this. And I'm just going to mark in the hole again. Now we have lost any T's and pins we've planted, they've been destroyed along with the whole path and boundary. So we'll have to remember to replant a T and a pin. But uh, apart from that, it should all work nice and well. So I'm going to select the center of the fairway there and the green will be there. So it's now drawn in the new path. All I need to do, create a new green, plant a pin on it, plant a new T, and remove our green here. Now, one of the, uh, you'll be moving and modifying quite a bit as you decide, you know, you might make a bunker and decide it's too big or too small or the wrong shape and you want to adjust it. And one of the main errors that beginners make is they'll make the modifications to something, but they'll forget about the sharpened edges. Uh, you can't see them, so I can get rid of this green uh, simply by uh, face selecting the whole green, the region, and I could change it back to a fairway texture, so it'll be the same as that, apply it, and our green's gone. But the sharp edge is still around here. Now, on a fairly flat surface, that's not going to be a problem. But if it butts up to a sharp edge, it will cause shadows. And if it happens to be on a slope, it will actually leave a, a visible line. Uh, I don't think this probably will because it's, like I say, a reasonably flat area. So you actually can't see a, a problem. But take my word for it, it will create lines and you probably won't notice them until it's too late and you've released your course and uh, you'll wonder where they came from and it's because the sharp edges are still there. Now if I deselect that I'll just show you the sharp edges. There is a command in our display uh, options called Hull and at the moment it's set on all edges if we should set it to sharp edges, it will only show the sharp edges on the course. And you can see, they're still here. It's where our green was. So we really uh, need to remember to remove those before, before we make any changes to anything. So I'm just going to switch the hull back to normal view. So I'll undo the face material. So we've got our uh, green we want to remove. So the first thing to do is edge select the perimeter as we did when we originally sharpened up the edge to make it curved. So I've now got it selected in red and I need to go to the sharpness and turn it back to zero first. That will get rid of any sharp edges. I can now select the region, change it back to fairway and if I wanted to I could delete some of these verts because we don't really need this amount of verts on a fairway uh, unless we're going to shape it and contour it or so you could delete some of those verts but uh, we've now just got a fairway and I could now add in the new green 
over the lake. And I can't see the shape on this screen because I've got the shapes turned off. But uh, we could have the new green, build it over there. And we've now got a par 4 instead of a par 3.